Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to our grammar visual class. I hope you all are doing great after your exam. Today, we will be doing a revision of the last topic that we have seen before your exam. Now, I believe that most of you have already forgotten the last topic that we that you have learned due to your exam fever. So, let us quickly revise what we have learned so far from your chapter 7 types of verbs in page number 49. So, um, students, we have learned many types of verbs in this chapter, that is, finite verbs, what is, what is finite and non-finite, what is transitive and intransitive verb, and direct and indirect object yes that was the last topic that we have learned so today in this class before we go to a new topic let us quickly revise the direct and indirect object okay so let us begin in an english sentence the subject and the verb usually come before the direct and indirect objects now, if you know how to identify what the subject and verbs are, finding the direct and indirect objects will not be difficult, okay? Now, I believe most of you, now, now you, not most, all, all of you know what is, what is the subject and what is the verb, right? Now, what is direct object? It is a noun or a pronoun that receives the action of the verb in the sentence. For example, Jimmy likes dogs. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to identify the subject and the verb in the sentence. The first thing to identify a direct object, we have to first identify the subject and the, uh, and the verb. So here, in this example, Jimmy likes dogs. Here, the subject is Jimmy and the verb is your likes. Now, try to make a question using what or whom about the verb likes. So, what does Jimmy likes? What does Jimmy likes? So, the answer is dogs, right? Jimmy likes dogs. So, here, dogs is the direct object and it receives the action likes. Some more examples Sarah hates her classmates here we know that the subject is Sarah and hate as a verb now ask the question what does Sarah hate Sarah hates her who classmates so here we know that the ob now here the object is direct object is her classmates now again one more example mom gave me a present here also identify the subject mom Identify the verb gave. Now, what did mom gave? Mom gave me a present. So, here, present is your direct object. Now, let us see indirect. What is an indirect object? For a sentence to have an indirect object, there should always be a direct object. Now, remember, students, I told you that there can be no indirect object without a direct object. So, uh, sometimes, in a sentence, there may be, there may be an indirect object, but no uh, there might there might be an there might be a direct object, but without uh, an sorry I mean a direct object can exist without an indirect object, but an indirect object cannot exist without a direct object. You have to remember this, okay? So an indirect object usually comes before the direct object. So indirect object usually comes before the direct object, and it answers the question. To whom or for whom the action of the verb is performed. So here it answers the question for whom and to whom the action is performed. It is the one that receives the direct object. Okay, the indirect object will receive the direct object. Now here. 
let's see an example my friend gave his girlfriend a diamond ring now here in this example identify first the subject and the verb now here we know that the subject is my friend and gave is the verb now next step the third the third step is to identify first of all is to identify the direct object now in this sentence what what did my friend gave my friend gave a diamond ring now here the diamond ring is a direct object next ask the question for whom and to whom is the action of the verb performed now here in the example my friend gave his girlfriend a diamond ring so for whom did my friend gave the diamond ring for whom was the action performed for her girlfriend so here her uh, sorry his girlfriend becomes the indirect object the person the thing or the person who is receiving the direct object that is who is receiving the diamond ring his girlfriend so here his girlfriend becomes your indirect object some more examples the teacher gives her student a lot of homework now here subject is the teacher and the verb is gives her students a lot of homework so who is the direct object what does the teacher gives homework right and to whom to her students so her students is your indirect object one more example again team gave the homeless man some money so here the subject is team and the verb is gave what what did team gave money right and who is the receiver of the money who is receiving the action the homeless man so here the homeless man is your indirect object so here's table for you to understand the direct and indirect object more better granny bakes us cookies every weekend now here what does granny bakes cookies so cookies is a direct object and for whom is the cookies for whom does granny bakes the cookies for us right so here us is your indirect object she gave her mom a kiss on the g on the cheek so who's the subject she and the verb is gave and what she give a kiss right what did she give a kiss and to whom to her mom so here kiss is the direct object and mom is the indirect object now i wrote my best friend a letter here i is subject and wrote is a verb now ask the question what what did I, what did i write i write a letter now here letter is your direct object and to whom my best friend so here my best friend becomes your indirect object so i hope students um that very um quick revision which i have done with you in this video lesson will help you to remember what is the direct and indirect object now in our next video lesson we would be learning about another object called the prepositional object or we can even call it object of the preposition.